All right. Good morning. Um, I'm going to mention three pieces of news this morning. I'm sure that you all will ask me uh, about a fourth, uh, but I'll take questions from everybody that's here and that is on the line. Uh, first, while a lot has happened in the last especially 48 hours, I want everybody to remember that we lost Joshua Phipps, a Russell County deputy. Um, he was killed in the line of duty earlier this week. We are still thinking and praying. Um, for him, his dad, his mom, his sister, who I talked to briefly uh, the morning after. Uh, his funeral will be Saturday, tomorrow. Uh, flags will fly at half staff at all uh, state office buildings. And I'm calling on everybody else uh, who flies a flag either at their home or their place of business to fly it at half staff in Joshua's honor uh, tomorrow. Uh, the honor Kentucky State Police Honor Guard will be delivering the two flags that were flying over the Capitol on the day of his death to his parents. So again, uh, thinking about him, the entire law enforcement community, uh, that entire uh, community, and, and hoping his family knows we care about them, we love them, we'll carry their grief just a, a little if they'll let us, uh, as long as they, they need us to, and we are grateful for the sacrifice of their son. The second, uh, is I want to once again state clearly and unequivocally uh, that Representative Grossberg should resign. He should resign. And the third piece, and I just learned about this yesterday afternoon, is a large federal grant uh, has been made for Ascend Elements, one of our very large projects in the uh, EV space. It's in Hopkinsville. It's a $125 million grant from the federal government to help move that project forward. So uh, exciting news on that piece in economic development. Uh, so with that, I'll open it up for questions. Um, I would say uh, the Lieutenant Governor also has a statement out uh, calling for the resignation of Representative Grossberg. We stand united together, believing that this is the right thing to do. And I hope he hears it and I hope he follows it. We'll start with Carolina. Um, Governor any reaction to the situation in Ledger County? Uh, it's, um, so what we know uh, is that uh, yesterday afternoon, uh, the sheriff in Letcher County shot and killed a district judge. Now I know there's a whole lot that's out there on the internet and elsewhere. This is an active ongoing investigation as a former prosecutor and the former AG. Um, I'm not going to comment on any pieces uh, of it uh, to make sure that the state police can continue that investigation. Uh, they will follow the evidence um, when they have it. They will comment on motive, and then it will be prosecuted by the Commonwealth attorney, uh, Jackie Steele. Mason. Governor, what is the process uh, to remove Representative Grossberg if he chooses not to resign? I believe that impeachment is the only process to remove a state legislator that uh, that refuses to resign. Uh, otherwise, it would be the, the next election. Uh, Doug, do we have? Okay, thanks. Travis? Senator Bashir, there's a news conference outside uh, taking place about the restriction of order. Some of these are Christian counselors who say that historic Christianity has said that marriage is between a man and a woman, um, that there are two genders. What do you say to them? They say they can't practice under your executive order. Do you, do you, do you expect it to hold up in court? I expect it to hold up in court. Every major medical association has said that so-called conversion therapy harms and significantly harms children. It doubles the likelihood of suicide. We shouldn't be doing things that take the lives of our kids. Uh, I am a Christian. I, my faith uh, tells me that I'm supposed to love everyone everyone. And that means everyone, regardless of their sexuality. I believe that every child is a child of God, uh, beautiful and perfect. Uh, and I'm going to stand up for these kids to make sure they know that somebody cares about them and wants to prevent a practice that has been causing significant and long-term harm to these children. Sylvia. So you've held off on uh, calling specifically for Representative Bruce Bruce's design until now. What about this? I assume it's the morning report crosses the line for you. Well, I, I previously said I think he should seriously consider whether he should be a state representative. Um, I, I just want to be clear and unequivocal. This is it. it this conduct is wrong. 
Um, and it, it, you can't be a state representative. Um, you shouldn't be, let me back up, nobody. Nobody should face harassment in their place of work, in the Capitol, anywhere across the, the, the Commonwealth. And when it appears that a state representative is engaging in that type of conduct, and we just need to uh, speak in one clear voice that it's absolutely unacceptable. Uh, I want my daughter to grow up in a world free from harassment. I want my son to grow up in a world free from harassment. And, and these allegations and the alleged conduct, it, it crossed the line in the first story, it crossed the line in this story. It's, it's too much. He needs to, he needs to resign. Uh, Mark Vanderhoff on the line. Mark, can you elaborate on the any of the details that you might have about uh, Representative Grossberg's conduct that convinced you that you had to go ahead and call for his resignation before the investigation um, and the decision from the Ethics Commission was, was complete? Uh, listen, at this point, we have numerous people coming forward uh, with uh, allegations that are absolutely unacceptable. Uh, it's time. Uh, I had hoped that my previous comments uh, would be heard uh, and that he would listen to them and decide that this was what was best. Uh, obviously, that didn't happen, so I'm just trying to be clear today. Uh, Alex Aquisto. Hey, Governor, to piggyback on Mark's question, uh, what concerns you most about the allegations against Representative Grossberg that we reported? And have you personally heard from any of the women who've accused him of misconduct? Well, I want to preserve the confidentiality of any of those conversations that someone had with me. You know, I have, uh, I have as Attorney General uh, and as Governor uh, tried uh, to lead in a way that is inclusive, that is professional, uh, that that always stands up to uh, harassment, and, and and it's all of it. Uh, I mean, it just from from an individual here at the Capitol that um, felt unsafe uh, to others at political events that have felt unsafe to 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 the article today. You cannot be a state representative and engage in this type of conduct, but no human being should make other people feel uh, unsafe. You know, harassment is wrong in all of its forms. Uh, Samantha Valentino. Um, a lot of people, including some of the victims in this case, are now calling for changes to the legislative code of ethics to prevent the types of behavior Grossberg is accused of. I'm just interested to hear your thoughts on, on that. Well, I think I think the legislative uh, ethics code has either been very weak or has been uh, enforced very weakly uh, over the years. I mean, you can look back at so many uh, different, very concerning either conduct or or things that had occurred uh, you know we do need a stronger legislative code of ethics but we also need stronger enforcement of it uh, mckenna horsley thank you governor um what actions do you think the house democratic caucus should take following these latest allegations against representative grossberg um should he not resign should he be permanently suspended from the caucus I think the caucus needs to needs to make that decision, but I think they have uh, spoken very strongly with uh, some of the most significant steps that I have seen uh, taken uh, against a caucus member. Uh, Karen Czar. Thank you, Governor. In situations like these, victims still often don't want to come forward for fear of not being believed or fear of repercussions. What is your message directly to victims who are afraid to come forward. Yeah, and, and I know some of these individuals and um, I hate that they've gone through what they've uh, gone through. Uh, I hope that that people see or hear today um, that we will listen, uh, that they will be believed and that no one should use a position of authority to make anyone else uh, feel unsafe or harassed. Now it's important that in a in a world where we still uh, see far too much conduct that's just totally unacceptable. 
uh, for people to know that um, if they choose to speak out, they'll be heard. And Tom Latek. Thank you, Governor. Good morning. Uh, if uh, President Stivers and Speaker Osborne come to you, would you call a special session for impeachment of Representative Grossberg? Um, I'll, I had not thought through that that piece. Um, that would be a discussion we would have uh, with them. Uh, I'm hoping that today the message is loud enough and clear enough and Representative Grossberg decides to take the right action. And finally, Hannah Pinsky. Hi, Governor. Um, do you think that these allegations against Grossberg are going to hurt the Kentucky Democrats, you know, party image and momentum ahead of the November election? Uh, I don't. Everybody's conduct is their own. I mean, we saw uh, a, a a former Republican candidate for governor and his lieutenant candidate for governor both go to prison. What in the in the same span of of several months, uh, a couple of years. Uh, ago. You know, there was a former state representative, Robert Goforth, as well as Mike Hogan, his his running mate. And I don't think that that should uh, create any specter on, on the Republican Party. You know, people make their own decisions. They should be individually held accountable for that. And, and you shouldn't take one person's bad conduct and, and try to push it off onto others, especially those that are trying to do the, the right thing. You know, being a former prosecutor, being the former AG, I believe that we hold individuals accountable when they've done wrong. Uh, and, and hopefully after that, they'll start doing right. Okay. Thank you all very much.